All right, guys and girls, tell me what you think about this. So this is my Volvo 240 streetcar, which I also use occasionally for drag racing. Um, I had a requirement with my 4L80, my Transbrake 4L80, that I didn't want to have curly cords or buttons hanging off the steering wheel, and I also wanted to have a Transbrake reachable, or Transbrake button reachable, that I could have both hands on the wheels when I try to try to engage, uh, disengage it. Just, I want to be holding onto the wheel when I when I take off. So I've got a little little gadget here. Let's have a let's have a look at it. So turn the car on in park, no worries. First up, I didn't want to have to push any buttons for the car to reverse. So I actually have a normal conventional relay that's running off the off the reverse light circuit that is activating the transbrake solenoid. So I don't have to do anything to reverse, I just put it into reverse and the car goes backwards. Normally with the Jake's D3, you obviously have to hold down the button to reverse or flick a switch, which is a pain in the ass in my opinion. I don't have to do that. I just put it in reverse, the reverse lights activate this other circuit and away we go. Put it into another gear, the relay turns off, everything's fine. Um, in drive or D3 is what we would normally use for transbrake launching, what I'd wanna do is I want to use the horn as my trans brake button, but I don't want to also lose the functionality of the horn. So at the moment I have the horn, <laughs> works nicely. If I flick this demister switch, which is doing nothing because the demister is broken in the windscreen, in the arena window anyway, this is now my trans brake. And you can probably hear the solenoids ticking. So when I'm at the drags, I can hold down the horn, have both hands on the wheel, let go and we're away. And in addition to that, and this one's going to be a little tricky to show, but I'm going to try and transbrake with my elbow. I'm holding down the horn on the side of the shifter. This little button, which is normally used for the, the Volvo overdrive, is now my bump. So no problem staging. I can bump with one hand, get my hand back on the wheel, and then when I'm ready to let go, I let go. And we're away. This probably doesn't mean too much to you fancy folk with your Hollies and your Haltex and your Fieldtex that could probably do all of this anyway. I'm not using an aftermarket ECU. This is using a standard P59 ECU. So all this trickery is, is separate. Um, it's really cheap. Uh, I'm probably $50 into to all of it. So if anybody's interested in wiring diagrams and are on a budget like me, reach out. Happy to share. Hope you enjoy.